it's taste pink and i'm back to show you all three quick and easy updos using the outre batik reggae braid and this hair is highly textured so it's perfect for my type 4 hair fam especially for my type 4c people i wanted to give you guys super quick and easy ways if you can't braid you need a little bit of inspiration you want something that's perfect and on the go this is for you so make sure you catch this sleigh and we'll get right into it As you can see, my hair was previously blow dry, but now it's very much shrunken. We're getting closer to wash day, but we're still gonna make this work, you'll see. So I'm first going in with apricot oil. This is a lightweight oil, but it's still hydrating. And I'm gonna focus this specifically on the scalp. Moisture is really good for achieving a very sleek look. I get a lot of questions about how I slay my updos. So make sure you take these notes and massage that oil in. Next, I'm going in with my DIY whipped shea butter. I'll have the full tutorial linked in the description and I'm going to warm this into my hand and focus it primarily on the perimeter hairline as well as at the nape because you wanna supply moisture to whatever area that you want to be super sleek and laid down. And then do not neglect your ends. Moisturize the ends of your hair. This is where moisture is typically lost. I just love to ensure that I can retain moisture at the ends of the hair because that's the oldest part of the hair. Next, I'm going in with the Got To Be Glam Force Sculpting Gel, and I'm going to use about a quarter size amount. Don't use too much because you can cause your hair to revert. This is essentially what I use to help me grip my hair and get a hold on it. Like doing a ponytail and a bun for me at this point has become so difficult. My hair is super thick, it's growing, it's a lot longer. So to kind of tame my little mane, I like to use this as my first step. Now, I'm gonna be honest with you, I had to do this ponytail situation about two times this was take two sometimes it happens but i wanted this to be like right on top of my head and so now i'm going to take the ends of my hair and start to roll and tuck them i find that when i tuck the ends of my hair really keep it close and knit within itself i retain a lot more moisture my ends don't feel brittle and again add a little bit of whipped shea butter if you need to just to make sure that you are not neglecting your ends and i'm just going to use a scrunchie to secure this in place now i'm using the style factor edge booster hideout this is new for me this is very reminiscent of beeswax it's a very thick consistency but it also has that dark tint if you are someone with slightly lighter hair you can use this color it has like a medium brown but i'm going to use the darker of the two again this is very much like beeswax to me make sure you warm this up within your fingertips prior to applying it to the hairline you don't want to be too rough on the hairline this will help to to tint whatever area in which you apply it. It definitely gives a darker cast. So if you're looking to create a fuller looking hairline, girl, start right here. This is it, this is for you. And I really found that I had to kind of use a brush to really work this in, but I still think that I have to use the original edge booster because that works the best for my hair. So I'm going in with the Edge Booster in the Lemonberry scent. This is my favorite. It smells so good. But this is what I'm going to use to slip down the rest of my hair, but to also help to make the Hideout Edge Booster kind of blend more seamlessly into my hair because it was a little spotty. And then with a little bit more of the Edge Booster, I'm going to go in with the spoolie. Now, you don't want to like brush or rake your edges with the spoolie. You're just kind of guiding your hair along with the pomade so that it can stay slicked down. I find that this works really well. I don't do this too often, but you know, when I do wear an updo, I like for it to look super sleek. So this is a great step to use. But the only thing about Edge Booster, it must set anywhere from 15 to 30 minutes. I like to do 30 minutes because that ensures my hair is going to be laid. <laughs> And now after the 30 minutes, look at this sis, okay? We're laid down, laid down, okay? It's a process, but it works. 
so now i'm taking one full pack of the reggae braid again this is in the color m1b350 i love the contrast of this against my hair but all i'm doing is breaking the bundle into two sections and i'm going to twist them around each other you want to twist it tight but not too tight just tight enough so that it can hold its shape And then at the very end, you want to use an elastic band or rubber band to make sure that you secure it in place. We're going to hide the ends and the elastic band so there's no worry. Now just swing this twist around itself. This is more so like an asymmetrical bun. It's not intended to be perfect. That's why I like this specifically for beginners. It kind of takes the pressure off of being super perfect, but it still looks very elegant and sophisticated. Make sure to pin at the very end of the twist. You want to pin the center. You want to use Use excess hair to hide the elastic band so it looks like it's a continuous kind of twist going around your head and you know I'm just you know checking it using very few bobby pins I don't want to use too much and I'm just fluffing it up a bit how are you feeling style number one this is the twisted bun it's giving you asymmetrical vibes super sleek and i just love kind of the flow of the twist i took a second pack of hair but i removed probably two-thirds of it so i only have one third still on the gold ribbon and i'm twisting this hair around my natural bun This is honestly a style within itself. You can stop here, but I'm gonna keep going and take that twisted piece from the previous style and just attach it straight to the bun. Now you want to start using bobby pins to pin the bun and the twisted piece together so it looks seamless and as if it's one continuous piece of hair. I focus more so on pinning the back versus the front because I didn't want it to be shown. And I'm going in to retwist the very ends because I removed the white elastic band. And then I'm going to kind of take the ends and fold them onto themselves and use a black rubber band to secure it in place. This creates, you know, a more sleek, more polished end to this kind of side hawk pony look. and sis okay so this is definitely different i love how bold it is but i think it complements so many different face shapes it's a gorgeous style are you feeling it let me know in the comments below so again i'm twisting that same piece of hair that we started with but i want it to be a lot tighter a lot smaller and i'm going to pin it in place And then with the extra bundle, and I untwisted the hair, and I'm just gonna take that extra bundle, place it onto the bun to secure it in place, and then just twist it. You're wrapping and twisting the hair at the same time. I like this because again, it doesn't have to be perfect. It gives kind of like that effortless look. It can be a bit asymmetrical if you prefer. It depends on how you pin it, how you fluff the hair how you put your finishing touches. If you're a little nervous, okay, and you're you know concerned about a little imperfections, I thought to myself, what's a way that we can kind of dress this up without doing the most? Take a piece of jewelry, a necklace, a bangle, maybe even gold ribbon, drape it around the base of the bun, and girl, this is regal. Regal tees. We have just decked out this bun. It looks super gorgeous. What are your thoughts? You saw how we took this up like 10 notches? Let me know which style was your favorite. You have to meet me in the comment section. We got to Kiki. This is fall vibes. This is dinner party. This is brunch. This is dinner with Bay. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe, join the family. Give this video a thumbs up if you're feeling any of the looks. And again, see me in the comments, sis, and I'll see you in the next one.